So Ed turns to Donna Pope and says, no, I don't want your autograph because you're putting the Riddler system in the mint and I'm mad at you because of that. Just how did some of these spectacular mint errors get out in the first place? Well, one of the first stories I remember was the 1977 when they were expanding the U.S. Mint in Philadelphia and one of the carpenters who was had a pocket full of nails went up to one of the mint things and stuck some nails between the dies and some of the first nails sent on nails came out at that time you know, now they're common with the, the current machines and that stuff coming out, but this was the first time some of the early ones came out. And they were all, at that time, confiscated by the feds. <laughs> then we just sold, there was just a dime on a nail sold by Heritage. Yeah, so, so th 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 those came out because of uh, the dyes, the workers which work the dyes, when there's jams in there, they stick the nail in to clear it out and those were a little more legitimate. At the early time in that stuff, this was an outside person who saw this and saw an opportunity to get nails, <laughs> coins struck on nails. So Mint Depot, that's the <laughs> new name. All right, so the number two way coins got out. Well, there was a point in 1968-69 period when a lot of proof errors started coming out of the Mint and nobody could figure out how that could happen and the rest. And everything in the U.S. Mint was being serviced internally by people within who worked at the Mint. At this point, there was only one piece of equipment which everyone outside of the Mint for servicing and that was the forklift. And what they did at that time was they were dropping it into the oil pan letting the forklift go out of the mint, dropping the oil pan, taking these out, and they were getting the mint out that stuff, and they had to seal up that. Now today, everything, including the forklift, is serviced within the U.S. Mint. And what's another way that coins might get out? Well, the most common way and the way most of the mint errors, which people who, who can collect in today's market, are in bags. The mint usually just weighs the bags to a tolerance level and there can be 100,000 coins in there and you never know what you're going to find. Even though there are the still they're using the Riddler system and they're still using a laser checking of the coins, some of the stuff still slips through and they can be found in mint bags or through the banks. So it pays to keep looking, you never know. You keep looking and you never know what you can find. All right, thanks Mark. Thank you.